everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Pisces weekly guidance message for August 15th through the 21st. In this message, Pisces, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Pisces, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What do my Piscean friends need to know? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I feel here there's a person, there's a relationship here that's coming together that you're moving forward, taking things to the next level, or seeming as if that's what's going on. But I feel here the challenge is somebody is still up in the air about this relationship, about this connection. Now, this could be you. This could be your person. We're going to clarify this in a moment. There is a need to set a boundary. So if this is your person, Pisces, they need to decide. This is you. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Okay. I feel here right now, this week, you're really up in your head thinking, over analyzing this decision. This, what should you do here? How should you approach? How should you move forward? Um, I definitely feel like there is an emotional connection here between you and this person, but is this really a person that you envision in your future for the long term? That's really what it's going to boil down to. So let's clarify. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Again, guys, there's a decision that needs to be made here. Um, do you move forward into a new positive direction with this person or do you call it quits? Please clarify the Page of Cups, Three of Cups. Hierophant Energy for Pisces. You see Pisces, do you stay or do you go? And this is something that you're really analyzing right now. Clarify this Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands with the Four of Swords. So a decision needs to be made. Whether this is you, whether this is your person, if this is going to work, you both have to choose this connection and move forward. There can't be no more up in the air, back and forth, in and out type of energy here. Somebody is going to have to decide. Clarify the King of Cups, Nine of Swords, Magician Energy. So for a lot of you, there is a deep connection that is felt here. There's a lot of love. Maybe you've known this person for a long time. Okay. You guys have longevity here with the Six of Cups. And what it's really going to boil down to is, are you guys able to choose one another and be strategic moving forward? Is this something that you want? Is this something that your person wants? You know what I mean? Can you see this coming together for the long term? And what I feel here is coming out, Pisces, is you're having a hard time seeing that end result. How is this going to align? It may be time. It may be time to either set that boundary with we are going to have to move forward in a positive direction or we're going to have to go our separate ways. 
So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Okay. So I feel here, Pisces, there's going to be an apology that's going to need to be made. I feel here there's some sort of energy of betrayal. That's coming up here between you and this person. Is this something that you can get over? Is this something that you can accept and move forward from? Or is this something that you're going to hold on to for a long time? Because this is always going to cause disruptions as long as you're holding on to this idea that this person hurt you, that they betrayed you. Okay. I do feel like there is going to be an opportunity for you and this person to move forward. But again, you guys are going to have to communicate, get on the same page and choose one another. And don't keep going back on that. You guys have to continue to press forward, continue to move forward. Take some time with the Hermit Energy Pisces. Get clear on how this person is aligning with your future. If you see a future with this person, then of course, by all means. But if that vision is foggy or you don't know how that's aligning maybe it's time to reevaluate so pisces soul truth message for your reading what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what i want right now what story are you telling yourself when you think about your dreams what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind if you're not living the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it's possible. Today's soul action. It's time for an upgrade. Look your belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new belief are you ready to adopt in its place? How will this change your results? Remember, your belief is the root of your result. Own it. Heal it. Upgrade it. Beautiful, beautiful. So... Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. The main thing that I get from this entire reading is you guys are going to have to decide. You guys are basically going to have to choose each other if you want this relationship to work. Is that something that you both are on board with doing? Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. If you want a personal reading, you're more than welcome. The information is in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.